as Israel systematically brings down Hamas, no external force is coming to directly fight in favor of the militant organization, whether it's Iran or Hezbollah. Apart from small, sporadic missile and drone attacks, it's only been lip service. One crucial reason for this is Israel's nukes. The main aim of Israel's nukes is to thwart any attempt to destroy the Jewish state. Israeli nuclear weapons provide assurance against many types of scenarios, like defeat in conventional warfare and deterrence against nuclear, chemical and biological attacks. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Israel's enemies have valid reasons to fear its nukes. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. On May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion, the head of the Jewish agency, proclaimed the establishment of the State of Israel. Israel did not have any security agreement with larger, more powerful states, especially the United States. The country was basically on its own, and the situation was desperate as enemies from all sides surrounded it. Its condition was so severe that Israel even bought conventional weapons from black markets to equip its military force. Nuclear weapons were seen as a critical requirement since they could be an ultimate assurance of safety. David Ben-Gurion was reportedly very conscious of this fact and wanted a nuke to be developed. Ben-Gurion authorized his science consultant, Ernst David Bergman, to work for the same. Israel's secret nuclear effort started with Bergman setting up and leading the Israel Atomic Energy Commission. France was sympathetic towards Israel. Shimon Peres, who later went on to serve as president and prime minister of Israel, nurtured contacts in the French power circle. Ultimately, France agreed to supply a large, heavy-water nuclear reactor and an underground plutonium reprocessing plant. The reactor was constructed in the Negev Desert. This was the breakthrough Israel needed, and it never looked back. According to intelligence assessments of the United States in the 1960s, it was concluded that Israel probably had nuclear weapons. The U.S. tried to slow down Israel's program with diplomatic pressure and make it join the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, but these efforts fell flat in front of determined Israeli leadership. In 1969, U.S. President Nixon and Israeli Prime Minister Gola Meir met and reached an agreement. As per that, the United States will no longer put effort on any slowdown of Israel's nuclear program or demand inspection. In turn, Israel would not declare or test its nuclear weapons. Most strategic analysts believe that Israel has a decent stockpile of nuclear bombs, just like an open secret. In September of 2016, in a private email that somehow managed to make it into the public domain, former Secretary of State and retired U.S. Army General Colin Powell referred to Israel as having an arsenal of 200 nuclear weapons. While this estimate seems to be on the higher side, there's no doubt that Israel has a mature nuclear armament program, which has produced a significant number of nukes. Israel does not confirm nor deny having nuclear weapons, the policy of nuclear ambiguity. The policy to maintain silence over its nuclear program has been a successful strategy. It's not complicated the situation in the region, but also provided Israel with the needed leverage with America. There are some concrete details available about Israel's nuclear delivery options through gears of analysis by different intelligence agencies of the world. Israel's weapons are deployed onto Israel's version of a nuclear triad. 
nuclear triad is the ability to launch nukes from land, air, and sea. Israel's initial nuclear weapons were large gravity bombs. Several American F-4 Phantoms in its fleet were allocated exclusively for nuke delivery with required modifications. As Israel mastered the nuclear tech, smaller bombs were also designed. These are most likely to have F-15I and F-16I fighters as the delivery platform. Though fighters are not considered to be the most reliable delivery options for nukes, they can be recalled right up to the last minute, making them very flexible. Israel has a very potent land-based nuke delivery option. Jericho-1 was the first missile developed by Israel for this purpose. It was designed in cooperation with France. Further iterations of Jericho were developed, namely Jericho-2 and Jericho-3. It's believed that all Jericho-1s are retired and replaced with Jericho-2 and Jericho-3. Jericho-2 has a range of 932 miles, while Jericho-3 has a range of at least 3,106 miles. The range of these missiles enables them to reach Arab countries as well as Iran. The total number of Israeli ballistic missiles is not known, but estimates by experts indicate that it's more than 50 in number. As the sea-based delivery option, Israel has five German-built Dolphin-class submarines. Experts believe that these carry a classified number of nuclear-tipped cruise missiles. These cruise missiles are designed from the Popeye air-to-ground missile or the Gabriel anti-ship missile. The submarine-based option is the most survivable part of the nuclear triad, since they are impossible to destroy with a preemptive strike and will enable Israel to strike back in case of a nuclear exchange. Israel's nuclear capability came at the right time. In the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Arab enemies had the upper hand in the initial phase as they were able to achieve strategic surprise. Israel was cornered and it was the first time Israel came close to having to use nukes. Direction was given to load the warheads in Jericho-1 surface-to-surface -surface missiles and F-4 Phantoms. But eventually, determined Israeli forces pushed back the Arab armies and the use of nukes was not required. Though Iran is working hard to get its own nuke, currently Israel is the only one in the Middle East to have an operational nuclear option, and this is unlikely to change anytime soon. This means Israel has a major advantage in terms of military capability, and it'll be suicidal for its rivals to touch it. Given the fact that Israel has robust delivery options, Israel's enemies have every reason to fear its nukes. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.